Do you guys know how many times little children run around these events have knocked down my lights? Numerous times. Most of the time I'm able to save the light in midair and catch it with my superhero strength and my superhuman speed. And so, you know, lights to this day have not broken just yet. But the thing is, accidents happen all the time. That's inevitable and that's why today's video is about getting insurance for your 360 photo booth business. The insurance that I have right now, and I'm gonna show you guys because I'm gonna go into my laptop, I'm actually gonna show you my personal policy for my 360 photo booth business. I have a million dollar liability coverage, general liability. I'm gonna break that down and what that means. I'm gonna show you guys what items I'm including uh, they're going to be backed up by this insurance now keep in mind guys that as you are expanding you are growing the more events you're at the higher the probable cause of something can go wrong and what i mean by that is someone can slip and fall someone can break your equipment or your equipment can accidentally damage whatever venue you're at so consider these things when starting your 360 photo booth business but the most beautiful part of this here is that it's not expensive to have insurance for your business and also having that insurance on your for your business not only helps you as an individual but you can also add someone to the policy if you have like an assistant that you take with you so let's go ahead and jump onto the laptop right now and i'm going to show you guys my policy and we're going to go ahead and cover that right now let's go ahead and do that all right all right all right ladies and gentlemen well here we are on my thimble page let's go ahead and uh, access this policy here i'm about to share this with you guys i hope this saves your butts in the future okay because accidents happen all the time we all know it uh i made a video a very long time ago around around uh mid-february and i decided to add insurance to my business and I haven't made a video like this yet and I should have maybe made this video a sooner because I realized a lot of you guys started your 360 photo booth businesses and have sent me messages on Instagram saying that you guys already had your first event which is I know that after you after that first event whether it's a great experience or a challenge truth is after that event you're only going to get much better especially if things didn't go as planned because that allows you to think outside of the box and that is going to give you that exercise you need as a problem solver okay so congratulations to everyone that already had their very first event somehow i wish that we can set something up like a community where i can hear you guys stories and i can share them with the rest of you guys and this would really help out the community because everyone's sharing their point of view during their experience handling their very first event. And some of you guys uh, already have numerous events and that's also exciting because uh, some of you guys are taking off really fast. That's for sure. All right, so please be smart and add insurance to your 360 photo booth business, guys, for real. All right, let's get this going. So my crew right here, it's just gonna be me by myself. So me plus one when I bring somebody on board. Now, if the event was huge, I can even do it myself and two other people, but as you guys already know, I only have an assistant that I use when I book for two hours. Uh, number of employees, no employees are officially uh, hired. Um, that's gonna be changing soon. I'm gonna be looking for great help to uh, you know get to, many, get to as many people as possible. So my policy period here, as you guys can see, I, I started, uh, this is actually my mama's birthday. Mom, I love you. I miss you. I know you're guiding me every single day. I appreciate everything you gave me, mom. Thank you. So this is my mom's birthday. We were up, uh, we're up in uh, Lake Arrowhead on my mom's birthday when I got this policy. So you guys know that I was thinking um, of my business, even though I'm at a at a family event, fam family kind of getaway. It's like it was. I was burning with passion. I wanted to start a 360 photo booth. I wanted to be really successful at it, and I knew that it was going to take key ingredients. And these are the key ingredients I'm sharing with you guys on this channel. Uh, because these are methods that have worked for me and these are things that are going to help you guys in the near future. So I added this policy on my mom's birthday. She's a Pisces. <laughs> this is how much I'm paying monthly. That's it. $53.13 to ensure my entire 360 photo booth business. And this is why I mean this is something that you guys, this is something that you guys need to get right away uh, if you don't have it yet. Because trust me guys something's gonna go wrong so, something's gonna break someone's gonna someone might get hurt someone might be salty you know you never know so my general liability here is at a million dollars 
my customer property protection, 5,000. So my equipment only covered up to 5,000. And then the business equipment protection, a 2,500 limit. Uh, I'm sorry, 2,500 limit, yeah. Customer property protection. No, this is actually the customer property protection, not my equipment. I read this too fast. I need to slow down. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, click on this general liability for this insurance company. And you can actually move it over to 2 million, right? But if I move it to 2 million, I think for me right now, at this point in my business, I don't need $2 million of coverage. It's a small business right now. But this is where you would go to change it if you wanted to. Now, what's covered? Bodily injury, property damage, and personal and advertising injury. So these are some of the things I want you guys to go over and read. I'm not going to read word per word. Reason why I want to keep these videos short and I want to introduce you guys to this concept of having business uh, insurance because your insurance has a lifeline. I'm sorry, your, your business has a lifeline. And that lifeline is how much money can you put into your business and then have that money start working on its own. Now, you cut that lifeline if someone comes after you and sues you or uh, a situation happens where your capital is gone and there goes your business. So it's a smart. It's very smart to have insurance. OK, now customer property protection. I have it at five thousand. You guys can start off in, around this area. I don't recommend starting in this area because we both know that for our entire uh, setup. Well, actually, let's just simplify things just for the photo booth itself. Uh, we got it for around sixteen hundred dollars shipped directly to our door with warranty and all that great stuff right including that really cool led light that goes around it which a lot of people ask me where i got that led light i got that directly from a manufacturer the link in the description right there uh, you can contact them and ask them hey guys can you just sell me the little ring light because it looks badass at events especially during nighttime so all right cool uh so yeah i'm at a five thousand right here and what uh what are my coverage limits so right here if a client's property is tempor temporarily in your possession or you're responsible for keeping it safe customer property protection can cover replacement cost if you damage it all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, come out of there and then business protection right here for the equipment i have it at 2500 um you know we paid 1600 but i've added a lot of things now that i think about it so i might really soon possibly this month be swapping it over to the 5000 and i'm going to see how much that bumps up my uh my insurance on a monthly basis because our booth is about 1600 but i added, added lights i have portable batteries i have a tripod i have all kinds of stuff now just recently i bought cold sparkles and a fog machine so maybe let's let's go to 5000 now just to kind of get an idea have you sustained a claim loss or accident or do you have knowledge or reason to anticipate a claim or loss well, I mean, you can always, <laughs> okay. So no, the answer is no. And let's see, at 5,000, tell us about your equipment. Is any individual piece of equipment worth more than 2,500? Individual piece, no, the answer is no. Um, okay, let's continue. Wait a minute, my lap, my MacBook is, no, not worth that much. Some of my items are rented or leased. Continue. So the total due today would be 20 and then my monthly premium increase would be $14.69. $14.69. Hmm, let me see, $14.69. $14.69 plus my existing amount that I'm paying is $53.13 plus $53.13. Oh, crap, I forgot the... Anyways, it's under $70. I think it's worth it. Um, I definitely think it's worth it. So I'll do that when I get off um, because, I, well, you guys are, I guess you guys are already seen it. So there's my address. <laughs> uh, I'll, if you guys want to do like DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats and send me some food, there's my address for you guys right there. Send me a thank you or whatever. I love food. Who doesn't love food? I like Thai food. Anyways, this, this video is not about food. Uh, so my equipment descriptions right here and I want you guys to know this uh, and you guys will find out when you read through this my iPhones uh, handheld devices smartphones are not covered so just know that and that sucks for me because I use an iPhone to record the event and I and that's that's what I prefer to use over um, you know the GoPro or a DSLR or even an Android device so that's what's up guys here's my equipment right here I've added everything, including the laser uh, 
laser light machines, the fog machine, all that good stuff. So that's that. And once again, I wanted to keep this video as short as possible. And I hope this video encourages you to look out for your business. And these are essentials. Okay, guys, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe, like this video. Hey, my last video, I don't know if you guys missed me a little bit or what it was, but a lot of people uh, watched that video and I got a lot of likes. I got a lot of love and it just, it felt really good, you know, especially after being gone for, you guys know, for a while, for probably almost two weeks, coming back and pouring my heart out to you guys again and re-engaging with you guys and seeing you guys grow and, and you guys witnessing what I'm going through is challenges and victories. It's cool, man. Like, I, I appreciate you guys' uh, support here on this channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, peace. Shh.